Students who study abroad primarily focus on the aspect of leaving the country rather than re-entry. In our study abroad orientations that are mandatory for all students who study abroad, we focus on the entire cycle of culture shock, beginning with the honeymoon stage and ending with re-entry. The honeymoon stage is where our students arrive in country and they're brimming with excitement about the new location, the new school, the new friends, and all the sights and sounds that they're going to see. Soon following may be the rejection phase. Now the rejection phase is where students come to reject the host culture. They begin to learn the differences, miss their families and American culture back home, but they're also filled with anxiety. Adaptation, adjustment, and re-entry are all stages that will soon follow. Re-entry is probably one of the most important aspects of any student's culture shock in coming home. And as a parent, you can help be supportive of your student. Students are going to come home and miss their host university, miss their friends, the sights, the sounds, the smell of their study abroad location. It's important that you as a parent be supportive of the student returning home, remain uncritical, be patient with them, and most importantly, be sure to ask lots of questions. The Office of Study Abroad helps students re-entry through various activities that we hold on campus, the first of which is collaborating with our career services. This allows students to take their experience and set it into a professional setting in terms of resumes, helping with interviews. The second is our study abroad society that's comprised of several students who have returned from studying abroad and wish to continue the talks to engage more about international education. The last of which are peer advisors. Our office employs student workers to work for us that will be able to explain the process of studying abroad and articulate their own experiences to other students who also wish to study abroad. Also, when students accept scholarships from our office, they automatically become study abroad ambassadors. This means that they have to repay four service hours to our office for the funds that they've received. This can be done while abroad or when they get home. While abroad, we have many students that will blog about their experiences to keep us up to date on their travels to help inspire and encourage new students to go abroad. They will also submit pictures to our office. And once back on campus, we have those students participate in our study abroad fairs and promoting study abroad around campus. Another thing to prepare for is that your student may choose to study abroad more than one time. A lot of our students will test the waters with short-term programs before diving into a long-term semester program. We know that you'll miss them while they're gone, but these experiences will help to broaden their horizons in the professional world. If you're still stuck on reverse culture shock, feel free to call our office and one of our advisors would be happy to help you. You can also check out our website under the Parents tab under Coming Home. We have a lot of ideas to help you and your child both cope with the idea of culture shock and re-entry back into the United States.